When Zach Robinson arrived at Stafford Speedway May 4th for the opening weekend, he had a new car, and more importantly, a new attitude. You know, over the winter we got a whole new team. Um, the Anderson family came in, stepped behind us, asked me if I wanted to drive for them. Um, that's about all that changed. You know, they were a great help. They gave us everything that we always wanted. Um, Joe Brockett, he brought his A game to the track this year. He's the crew chief. He's the guy that, you know, comes down, does all the homework in the shop with us, makes sure everything's right where he wants it. We came out here trying to make our car better than everybody else's and go for the win. Um, I really didn't even think about points. Everybody in the background just kind of did their job and we came out here looking for the wins. It took a while for the new team to gel. He grabbed his first win on week three. Then he went to work with back-to-back -back wins on June 7th and 14th to prove to everyone he was a contender. To the metal, pulls away down the back straightaway. Who's going to be the third place finisher to end up in Napa Victory Lane, Matt? Well, it could be victory time. Here comes the valedictorian of tonight's competition, Zach Robinson, to win it. Robinson said he wasn't running for points, but he was climbing up the point ladder. His wins on July 12th and August 9th put him in great position. That was the point when we realized we might want to run for a title, but coming into the season, that definitely wasn't the plan. Um, we came out here just hoping to get as many wins as we could, and we realized halfway through the season that if you win as many races as you can try to, that puts you into the points. And then from there on out, we just tried to stay in the top three all season. Down to the finale. A slower car in the way of Robinson. Could this be a factor as Robinson gets by? The set goes by. The set looking for some daylight in turn number three. But here comes Robinson looking for his fifth win of the year. He comes off turn number four. Zach Robinson has won in a great move to hold off the some of the best. Well, uh, you know, last year he had his daughter in a car and they had some success coming at the end of the year. They moved up a deal with Spafco, Ken Barry, um, and they had their old car sitting there and he asked us if we wanted to fix it for him and then it turned into a deal of they asked if I wanted to drive. And uh, we found a couple things that we didn't like and I had a frame sitting on the side of my garage so we actually brought it to Joe Ham. he did the roll cage, we did everything else and uh, you know he just looked at me and said I want to be the man behind the scenes, you guys know what you're doing with these cars, just go out there and get us the win. There was plenty of competition, Megan Fuller grabbed five wins including the inaugural Triple Crown. Travis Hydar, Jason Lafayette, and George Bissett Jr. had multiple wins. That meant Robinson needed a good finish at the fall final to wrap up the title. Yeah, I, uh, it was a little nerve wracking. I settled myself down out on the back stretch and I said, you know, you don't gotta win them all. You just gotta finish up front like you've done all year and do what you've been doing. So coming down to the end there, Travis had a better car than me. I pointed him by and let him. It worked well enough for Zach to win a title, following in the footsteps of his grandfather, Leo Adams, who won a Thompson title in 1992.